Now then, where shall we start? How about being bosom buddies and you putting that gun away? Klausner, do you know where he is? Yep, he's dead. Just around the corner of the cave. You wanna look? I'll take your word for it. How did he die? Starvation or dehydration by the look of it. He was caught in this trap you were shouting about? Yes, I suspected as much. The Templars were not ones to give away their secrets lightly. Was he carrying anything of importance? Yeah, he was carrying some sort of lens. I've got it with me. Give it to me. I don't think so. Don't be a fool, Mr. Stobart. If I give it to you, what's to stop you killing me? What is to stop me killing you anyway? You might hit the lens. Not if I shoot you in the... When I fall, the lens might get broken. Yes. You plead convincingly, Mr. Stobart. Perhaps you live to see another day. Perhaps. Was there anything else? Well, there is something, I guess, but you can't move it. Yes? What is it? It's a treasure map. Your X marks the spot. Come now. Do you expect me to believe that? Yeah, okay. You caught me. But round the corner, there is something in Latin up on the wall. Latin? Do you remember it, Mr. Stobart? In Accidenta Sita Est, in Ora Mundi. Ah, the words of Caesar. Yes, that makes sense. Well, I know that roughly it means to the west, to the edge of the world. But what the heck is that about? It tells me where the sword of Baphomet lies. Mr. Stobart, I am sure that you are just what you appear to be. A gifted amateur. Thanks, I think. But I can no longer tolerate your interference. There is far more at stake than you realize. So what are you going to do? I regret that we must end this here and now. Your only choice now is whether you die like a man or like a dog. Okay, you're the boss. I'll take my medicine. You are an honorable man, Mr. Stobart. A rare breed. I should like to shake your hand. Yeah. Well... What the heck? It was a long way down. Below, I could see Ultar's truck. Luckily, the canopy on Ultar's truck broke my fall. Thank goodness for that. The worst part of the experience was Ultar's driving. What about the lens? Is it still in one piece? Oh, yeah. Well, it's good to see you again, Georges. Really? Well, I have to say, I'd have enjoyed Syria a lot more if you'd been there. I wouldn't have been much help. Anyway, you did just fine on your own. Have you any idea what this lens might be used for? As a magnifying glass, obviously. I'm sure you'll find it very useful. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. I once read a list of lo it didn't obvious
I The lens fitted into the end of the scroll like a hand into a glove. Hey! A Knight Templar burning at the stake and a date. Let me see. M C C C X I V. That's. Thirteen fourteen. A scroll was a symbol of scholarship. I knew that much. Uh, excuse me, Father. Pardon? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all, Monsieur. It will be my pleasure to help you. I noticed that the stained glass window on the left looks more modern than the middle one. You have a keen eye, monsieur. The original window was destroyed in the last war. It was as old as the church, early 14th century. Oh, man, that's awful. Oui, a terrible loss. Still, the church and the other windows survived. Is the right-hand window original? Oui, monsieur. Did you know that the center window conceals an image of a man burning at the stake? The burning man? What, you knew? That there was a hidden image? No. But the church has a reputation for being haunted. Many times, people have claimed to have seen a burning man in the window. But when others, they look, there is nothing. Perhaps the light has to be just so for the figure to appear. Yeah, or maybe you need a special lens. You must be proud to have such an incredible collection of stained glass. Pride is a sin, monsieur, but it is hard not to marvel when the light shines through them. It is a fine example of the artisan's genius. What do you know about the Knights Templar? You have come to the right place, if that is your interest. Many of them were executed in the square outside. It was a disgrace to France. Well, the Pope was right behind it, though. Clement V was a man of memo, not of God. That's kind of forthright for a priest, isn't it? You think so? It is hard to be sure what happened. It is so long ago. How long have you worked here? Hardly work, monsieur. This is a calling. I have been helping Father Flambert for nearly six months now. I guess you don't know much about the history of this church, then. Just a little. You've got quite a shine on that candlestick. Ah, oui. Anything less than best would be an insult to the Almighty. I guess so. I never thought of it like that. Have you seen this man before? No, I have never seen him before. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. A statue of a knight holding a staff and a scroll. The Templars were demonstrating a pretty good grasp of physics. If the dissolution hadn't happened, we'd have had cold fusion power last century. A stone knight lay at the end of a row of four. I wondered if this guy had died in combat. A Knight Templar burning at the stake, and a date. Carrying all that armor around must have been hard work. A stone knight lay in full stone armor, blank eyes looking at the ceiling. I was surprised Philip Lebel had left this place alone.
The second stone knight in a row of four lay on the church floor. Just think, there's a dead guy under there. A stone knight lay. In French, English, and German, it read, In 1312, Pope Clement V dissolved the knightly order of the Templars and excommunicated its members on charges of heresy. In the following two years, many of the knights were hanged on this site. Their Grand Master, Jacques de Molay, an architectural echo of the gallows that once used to stand here. You're back. Oui, I have returned. Hello again. Hello again, monsieur. Well, I wasn't expecting to see you back here again. No? Well, it is a strange thing, but I am here on duty. On duty? But you're just sitting there drinking wine. No, I am not just drinking wine. I am under cover. I must be missing something. You're in uniform. Precisely, monsieur. My cover is that of an indolent, wine-guzzling police officer. You've got me convinced. Merci. But in re reality, my every muscle is poised, every nerve honed. I am drawn tight, ready to pounce. Bang! Who or what were you planning to pizang on? You must have heard, m monsieur, of the terror that is gripping Paris. You mean the killings? Oh, at last, someone's taken action. <laughs> People die every day. No, no, I am on the trail of Sewer Jacques. I, uh... Who? Sewer Jacques. The terror of the subterranean city. He pops up here, he pops up there. The cops, they seek him everywhere. Is he so hush or beneath the neck? That damned elusive Sir Jack. Bravo, that's very good. Merci. I was up half the night writing that. Who is this Sewer Jacques character anyway? Ah, if we but knew that, we could have him in custody in an hour. But he is cunning. To despoil the sewers of our fair city, he has co committed many deceptions. He has pretended to be a police officer and deluded a poor war veteran. Uh-oh. He has pretended to be a jongleur. Wow, is that the time? And an American tourist. What nationality are you, monsieur? Canadian. Well, uh, gotta go now. See ya. Well, it's not everyone who can say they started an urban myth. A typically Parisian sidewalk cafe. Last time I visited one of those, it blew up. I decided I was happy enough right where I was.